We're sat here in the executive offices of the gardening department of Herm Island uh, and joining us today is Brett Moore who's been head gardener on Herm for the last six years. Brett, congratulations on your recent Gold Award at the Britain Bloom Awards. What do you think stuck out for the judges this year in your entry? Thank you for that. Um, really the judges were blown away more than anything on, uh, on, on the island. Um, it can sell itself really on a beautiful sunny day. It really is Herm, it's just a paradise island, it really is. Uh, but what they really enjoyed meeting as well was meeting the, the, meeting the uh, community, 64 residents on Herm, and, uh, and they met every single one of them, which they, they loved from the youngest, from the youngest to the oldest. They absolutely just took everything in. And that's one thing that we try and do when we bring the judges over, not just show me and Roseanne, it's we want to show everybody and that's what Herm is all about and I have a great belief that that is, that is what Herm is, is really what we do. Sure. You also looked at a wider audience, not just the 64 Island residents um, working with the garden and the projects that we have here. Um, you, you looked at other other groups of people. What what happened there? Yeah, well, over the last few years, we've been uh, in the Floral Guernsey campaign, uh, doing as we do uh, to try and get into Britain in bloom. And over the last few years, we've had a, a fantastic gentleman called Mark Wazalowski judging us, and he's given us a few pointers. And and we looked at going to CSR, Community Social Responsibilities, and uh, we said, right, we've got the opportunity to do it now. Spoke to yourself, and, uh, and and you enabled it to happen. And we had uh, some brilliant companies come over and work with us. Uh, really, really good fun. Uh, 480 trees at the start on on the one group um, from Lloyd's, and they were superb. Uh, all the way through, we've had uh, outdoor Guernsey looking after our beaches. Really simple. They come out here and do a lot of kayaking with people on in the summer, and they look after the beaches and pick up the litter for us. Superb. It's a really good job, and what it is, it's enabling other people from Guernsey to come across. So, trying to expand our uh, community really from 64 to try and get the Guernsey community to come in and, and actually be part of Herm. Which I, and I know Guernsey do love Herm, so why not do it that way? And, and that's really something that's, that stood out with, with us for our Britain and Bloom campaign, is meeting new people and seeing the enthusiasm coming from them people as well. So that really keeps us going as well. Perfect. Thank you. The island also, uh, at the awards, won a discretionary award for tourism. Tell us, tell us a little bit about how that came about and, uh, and what that means to you. Yeah, I think it was a, a couple of three weeks before we, uh, we got judged. I, I came running up to you, I think it was in the chapel one morning, and uh, I said, Jonathan, I've just been looking at this, and, uh, and it's a, a tourism award uh, for discretionary awards that the Britain in Bloom uh, do. They do 12, 15 discretionary awards, and one that just stood out to me was tourism award. Uh, we were fortunate to, to pick up the award with, alongside Great Yarmouth at the same time. We were joint winners with that. Because I believe that's what Herm is all about. We are a tourist island. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for everybody coming to visit what we do. Uh, and that's what we, we just shone. John and, and yourself, you gave us a, a fantastic 15 page booklet. I said to the judges, I said, uh, I said, guys, if you've got a chance at the end of it, please have a look through this because I'd like us to be uh, entered into this discretionary award as well. And, uh, and it worked, it's fantastic and it's, it's really gone well and, and now we can use that as well as a bit of an advertising tool as well, so superb. Uh, absolutely, it, it really does help in introducing us or our island to the wider world. Yeah. So looking forward, what are you going to be doing over winter now? <laughs> well we're very fortunate um, that uh, at the moment we're sort of consolidating on what we're doing. Uh, we've got a fantastic island, we've got a great community our gardens are, are really expanded in the last six years since we've since I've become head gardener. We've created new gardens in the valley, uh, new walks all over the island as well, and it's been a fantastic uh, four years. Really, really busy four years. Um, so we're just consolidating on what we're doing. So we're looking after the the, uh, the hotel gardens. We will be putting some more subtropical planting in. We're really into our, our South African. Uh, Australasian and South American planting. We want to keep that trend going. Uh, we have a great opportunity to do that. So that's what we're sort of doing now. Uh, Winter-wise, a little bit of tree work as well. So don't we all love getting a chainsaw out every now and then for a rosy uh, lump in logs around. But uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a consolidation really. Excellent. Last question, Brett. Where's your favourite place on Herm Island? 
after long sort of thought on that question, um, I don't know, how can I say uh, it's got to be Belvoir House, and the really the main reason for that is I'm a family man. I've got two young children. I've got a beautiful young wife, uh, and I'm here to work on the island. And I'm also here to enjoy myself. And where I can enjoy myself is by walking over the top of the hill at the end of the day, walking down to Belvoir, knowing I'm two minutes away from Belvoir Beach. Walking into the house, having a beautiful smelling house with my wife doing some fantastic cooking and listening to my kids shouting and screaming. I think that just makes me smile every single day and uh, that is where I'm most favourite, most happy on the island is Belvoir. Fabulous. I'll let you get on with your consolidation work this winter. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for chatting to us. Thank you. Thank you very much.